members of the cast starring in The Music Man, Hannah Sparrow and Eric Parker. Welcome to the show. Hi, thanks Thank for having you. us. Yeah, what a great uh, choice for a summer musical for the Croswell this year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, very familiar show, and it really is, it appeals to all, I would say, all ages. Yeah, it's yeah. like the great American musical, so. So what's your role? What part do you play, Hannah? So I play Mary in the Librarian, okay. um, who basically, throughout the first act, kind of tries to fend off the professor's advances, and then till finally he uh, wins her over in the end, so. And you are Professor Harold Hill. I am Harold Hill, luckily this and gratefully enough. <laughs> Have you have you played this role before? I've been in the I've been the high tenor in the quartet a couple times, but I've never I've never played this part. But I've I've always thought that um, this is one of the best written, um, economically developed storylines, you know, in uh, in 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 the uh, the genre. I mean, it's a it's a wonderful play, kind of like Guys and Dolls or My Fair Lady. It's it's perfect in the sense that. Almost everything that's said advances the plot, and it's got tunes that everyone knows in it as well. You know. Well, what's always imp impressed me about the show is how f it's a really fast pace, and the actors, you really have to deliver lines really in a, 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 a pretty fast clip. <laughs> there is a, yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a clip, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> you got troubled especially. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Our, our director Steve Kersey said that uh, it's uh, probably one of the first rap numbers. And I don't, <laughs> I don't know about that, but it uh, it definitely has that feel. You know? it does, it's, it's got the pace of Hamilton. It does. It's, it's yeah, it's in the beginning and yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you been in uh, the Music Man production before? Um, so when I was in fifth grade, I played Amaryllis, which is one of the <laughs> child roles. <laughs> Um, so, but Marianne's a role that I've always wanted to play, so I'm glad that I have the opportunity now. And you've been at uh, the Croswell, I think just this past season you were in a, in a show, right? Um, so I was in once earlier this season, and then I was in um, a couple of shows last season as well, but this is only my second season with the Croswell. Oh, cool. And I think the time you were on our show was for a Croswell show, but I that think goes it was, back. Yeah, I think it was for the full Monty back in 2006. You know, 12 years and you know a few pounds ago. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but wait till you hear this one. She sings so beautifully oh, in the show. It's, it's it's fantastic. Worth the price of admission alone. And we've got you know we've got a, a, including us. There are like 53 other people in the cast. I mean, it's mammoth. It's we've got giant scenery pieces. I mean, it's a very impressive thing. The orchestra is fantastic. The uh, costumes are la lavish and. Uh, I, th I think it's going to be a, a wonderful evening at the theater for anyone that comes. Mm -hmm. so. Looks like you've had a, almost a full dress rehearsal here. Almost. It's getting there. Yeah. Yeah. The, I, I think the Croswell is awesome. But the, the stage, it's, it's tight. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing how you are able to put a, really a full-scale production on that stage. It's true. Yeah, it's our true. crew has worked really hard to make, uh, especially with the Music Man, which has such large set pieces that come on and off the stage from scene to scene. They've worked really hard to make it manageable and make it look seamless. So they've worked really hard on that. Well, you have a lot of music in the show, too. Uh, mm -hmm. In fact, there's supposed to be, I think, 76 trombones at some <laughs> point. Give or take a few. Yeah. <laughs> Give or take a few. Um, but we've got a, a wonderful group of kids trying to, trying to play them. So mm -hmm. we'll see if the... We'll see if my band leading magic works yeah. you know, this weekend, you know, <laughs> for the next three weekends, actually. But yeah, it's, it runs for, it starts, uh, what, what are the run dates? So it starts this Friday, and then it um, runs until the 23rd. So we have shows Friday, Saturday, Sunday of this weekend. Next weekend we have the same schedule, but two shows on Saturday. Mm -hmm. And then the last weekend we have a show on Thursday with two shows on Saturday, Friday, and Sunday. What is the challenge of, of preparing a show like this when you have such a, a, a varied cast in terms of um, age and experience. I, I, that's more, more for, I suppose, for the director to, to answer, but um, it, uh, it's, it's, it's a toughie. It's, uh, the, it used to be, back in my day, but, <laughs> but we, we would hang around the theater all the time and watch rehearsals for shows we weren't even in and, and, uh, mm -hmm. and, just, and just be there soaking it all in, but there, there are so many 
other opportunities for people to do things now and it, it you know of course there's technology too and everyone's on their phone and their computer but but it's uh, it's always a a struggle to get especially in this the uh early going with spring and summer with all the kids with graduation and school events and things like that um it's been tough but but it uh it the dedication really shows when people are there and they're firing on all cylinders it's uh it's a challenge that I think I think we meet, and uh, I'm kind of I'm excited for Friday. So, yeah, me too. Yeah. I think you're ready. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, I hope so. Yeah, we, <laughs> we better be. <laughs> we better be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's been a great experience, and and working with Eric has been awesome, and you know, we get along great on and off the stage, and that's been nice. So. Mm -hmm. Well, Eric, you're actually a professional actor. This is your... That's what they say. Yeah. <laughs> this is what you do. This is what I do. What, what else have you been in? You um, mentioned The Full Monty. The, the Full Monty. I, uh, I came in, I played Jean Valjean in Les Mis in 2014. Um, Big Fish, which is a, a show I really enjoy, uh, was the following summer. And I've been in and out. I've uh, directed and been in productions of Rocky Horror Show there. And just a varied... A varied uh, palette of weird things I guess a little <laughs> offbeat this is you know I've always considered myself kind of an unusual choice for this particular part because I'm, I'm more a charactery type of guy I think by by trade so this has been been an interesting uh, pair of shoes to step into I think um, well, Anna, your your credits look like a professional actress as well you've you've done a, quite a number of shows but you've also done some musicals with uh, U of M um, so I was a voice major at U of M. So um, I was most my degrees in music education. So I did sing all through U of M, but I sing with a lot of like professional choirs in the Metro Detroit area. So more of that skill set as opposed to musical theater. But musical theater is something that I've done since high school and took a break for a while, but then glad to be back. So. So I think almost everybody knows what the Music Man's about. Can you give us like a quick synopsis for people who might not be familiar with the story? Sure. Well, it's. Uh, you know, on the surface, it's about a con man who comes to this town and, and completely changes it over, you know, as he uh, shysters his way through everyone that's there, you know, in order to um, fraudulently sell parents and children on this idea of a boy's band. And then he, uh, he would come through a town and make all these promises and then take their money and leave on the next train out. But um, we, we've taken a slightly uh, different bent and put more emphasis, I think, on uh, the transformative power of what happens when someone comes to a town and and uh, yeah he, ch he changes the town he falls in love with Marion but he he also realizes that may maybe this is another part of what he wants to do in his life and she realizes hey there's other stuff out there you know and the um, and even though that's always there in the story you know we've I think we've kind of tried to make it a little more real which is hard to say in an old classic musical comedy, but right. but I think uh, especially in 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 how people think about musicals today, um, revisiting those golden age classics and putting a, a more honest emphasis on on some of the dramatic choices that these characters make, I think is is worthwhile. Mm -hmm. You know, I think if, if people have seen the, the Simpsons version of the music <laughs> man, they know the story. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> the ring came off my pudding can. Use my pen knife, my good man. Yeah. <laughs> On a rail. <laughs> yep. The uh, shows have been selling um, so well the last couple of years that um, opening night is, has typically been a sellout. Yeah, that's the, that's the hope. Um, you know, this is such a classic musical. Everyone knows it. Mm -hmm. It's really one that will bring people out, young and old. So um, we're hoping that lots of people will come and enjoy the story, just like we've been enjoying the story yeah. on stage every night. So, when did you start rehearsals for this? We started. It was a bit of a, a, a truncated process. You know, the the uh, the Croswell is growing in in popularity and in the uh, um, amounts of of shows that they do and in the 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 challenge of the material. I mean, uh, our artistic director, Jerry Ryder, has, has really put an emphasis on doing, you know, more and more challenging things, you know, not, for, not only for um, our audiences to uh, appreciate, but also the cast and crews. So what, but what that does is it tightens the process a little bit. So um, I think we started somewhere it was like late, late April, April yeah. early May. Yeah it, so, it, yeah, it takes a long time. And it's just, mm -hmm. the, the challenge is, is also the, the sets, the costumes, because you go full, 
full boat on, mm -hmm. on everything. Mm -hmm. All right, so get those tickets. They're available right now. And you've got three weekends to see this show. I look forward to uh, seeing it myself at the Croswell June 7th through June 23rd. Great to see you. Thanks for coming in. Well, yeah, thanks, thanks, for, for thanks for having us. us. Yeah, break a leg. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> uh, starring in The Music Man at the Croswell, Eric Parker and Hannah Sparrow. Up next here on the show,